Hey guys, welcome back to Small Town Bassin. So what I'm doing here, you can see I'm firing injectors, but why? Um, well, I'm fixing to go ahead and install this laser EFI on that 2.5 liter that we call Nasty Red. So I broke Nasty Red in with carburetors. Um, now it's time to go ahead and give it the juice, give it the squirt. So I, I refurbished rebuilt cleaned call it what you want uh, gone through this thing fine tooth and comb uh, clean reassembled new gaskets where gaskets were needed um, and now I'm ready to test it so that's what I'm doing I'm just a DIY bench test of mercury laser EFI it's a simple process it takes about 10 minutes to set up to be honest with you I'm going to show you what uh, what you got to do to test your injector circuits. Um, make sure they're firing appropriately before you install it on your motor. Um, this is good insurance if you already have EFI on your motor and you're going to go replace reeds or do whatever you do in your uh, your maintenance protocols. Pull this thing off, fire it. Um, I fill this thing. I drain all the fuel. Well, it never had fuel in it because it was I'm kind of built it, but. Uh, fill it up with mineral spirits. Um, it's safe for the injectors and also mineral spirits have a pretty mild solvent cleaning property as well as a little bit of lubrication. I mean it's just all around a good solvent, mild solvent to use. Um, plus when you atomize it you don't have to risk uh, blowing up your garage. Um, you don't want to do that with fuel open air. So I built this little makeshift cardboard box lined with a trash bag Padded with paper towels to absorb the fluids um, And I went through and fired them all several times uh, Basically giving them an opportunity to clean themselves out Spray patterns look good look normal look even I'm comfortable with it. I'm gonna install it But first I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself. Alright guys, you see here this is a fully assembled uh, laser intake minus the plenum cover um, that has all the bolts that attach it to the reed plate on the intake side. So um, once you pull that cover off, it's basically free to, to come off the motor at that point um, after you disconnect fuel lines, electrical lines, etc. Um, linkages, whatnot. But... Um, so we've, we've got that. You can see all our injector plugs are exposed. So looking closer, you can see we have a common wire color across all six plugs. And that color is red. So red is our common. So I'm going to follow red down to the plug right here and figure out which pin my red is. That's common. There's red. So it's going to be the pin on the corner here, red, that's negative. The other three colors are going to be individual positive. So that's three separate circuits. They all share the same ground. So I have white pair on the top two, blue pair on the middle two, yellow pair on the bottom two. So if I put my negative wire, negative source on the red pin, and then tap each of the other three color pins, I'm going to sequence fire my injectors. Now they fire in pairs, so that's something else to consider. But anyway guys, so I've got uh, power to my fuel pump. I've got to get power to my injectors to figure out if they're going to fire. So let's set this up real quick. Alright, so what I've got is a little drill battery, okay? Uh, I am going to put my negative for the fuel pump on the negative terminal. I'm going to give myself a negative jumper also on the negative battery terminal to touch to my injector harness. I'm going to do the same for the positive terminal on the battery. I'm going to install a positive jumper. I'm going to install my fuel pump and you'll hear the fuel pump kick on. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to plant this negative jumper next to my negative terminal, touching the, the metal contact. And then I'm going to take my positive jumper and I'm going to tap my injector circuits to make sure that everything's flowing properly. Spray pattern's looking good. 
I'm running out. I'm about empty. Alright, so I've gone through all the mineral spirits that I've filled in this uh, reservoir. Um, but everything's looking good. I have no problem um, feeling comfortable installing this on my motor. Um, and that's just a simple DIY uh, bench test solution for you guys that don't have high-tech equipment or really the know-how to even begin testing these things yourself uh, before you want to trust them on the water, you know. Um, but anyway, I figured I'd share it with y'all. I was just doing it for me and thought, well, shoot, this is a good learning experience for everyone. I'll just show it to the world. Um, I'm sure I didn't come up with it, but uh, I've never seen it before on YouTube. So here it is, guys. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, anything like that, leave it in the comments.